Wrist radial and ulnar deviation from the extension position stretch and pales and rails. So a couple of things let's go over first is going to be what is radial deviation? Radial deviation is when the wrist goes in towards the thumb side. Ulnar deviation is when we go into the opposite direction here away. Now some quick landmarks we want to look at. We want to look at pretty much the two bones here where our wrist watch will sit on. Okay, now what I want to pay attention for is am I rotating far enough that that bone starts to turn over? If it starts to turn over, now we're getting into a different movement and we've gone too far. Okay, so it's important that we, that we hold the position without having the wrist bones actually move on top. Okay, so let's go into it. We're going into extension position. So here I'm going to go shoulders over the wrist if I can so I can feel a stretch on this side of the, of the joint. Okay, next we're going to go into uh, radial deviation bias. So we're going to go into this position here, paying attention to my landmarks to make sure that those bones don't turn over. Okay, so I'm paying attention here. This is about as far as I can go. So we're going to go into our pale. So pale, I'm going to try to swipe out like that. But because I'm pushing hard into the floor, okay, the wrist is not actually going to move. We're just going to feel the stretch. So here I am, I'm extending my wrist and I'm trying to rotate out into ulnar deviation. I hold that for the prescribed amount of time and then we're gonna go into our rails. So our rails, we're gonna go inwards like that. So in this position, I'm going in towards my thumb and I'm holding that for the prescribed amount of time. Okay, we can't see anything happen, but if you experience a stretch, you're gonna notice that they feel slightly different. Okay, next we're gonna go into ulnar bias. So here I'm gonna rotate out until I start to feel that this is starting to rotate with it. Okay, so we've gotten to that end range right there and we're gonna go into our pale, which is gonna be going in towards the thumb. So I'm doing that and now I can feel the stretch and I can feel myself getting building more tension through my wrist as I try to go towards my thumb. Now we're gonna go into our rail pushing out so we're gonna go outwards towards the pinky finger okay again we're already at end range so we're not gonna see any movement okay but we can definitely feel the tension building in the wrist slightly different in the rails than in the pails okay so that's our wrist ulnar and radial deviation pails and rails from the extension position